it's April 2024 and one user on Reddit has got this message appear on their screen in Windows 10. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, in April 2024, 18 months still left to go of Windows 10 before they end support, they end security updates for it, they end any new feature updates for it. One user has got this message come up as a full screen message on their screen, basically saying, Windows, a new journey with Windows. We want to thank you for your loyalty as a Windows 10 customer. As end of support for Windows 10 approaches, we're here to support you on your PC journey. Your PC is not eligible to upgrade to Windows 11, but it will continue to receive Windows 10 fixes and security updates until support ends on October 14, 2025. Learn more about how you can prepare for the transition to Windows 11. And then you've got a few options here. Learn about end of support and then like what looks like a video button there. Why Windows 11? You've got an option here to get it to remind you later or to learn more. You haven't got an option, unfortunately, to stop this message from coming back again in the future. So essentially, what does this mean if you get this message? Well, if you get this message, then what Microsoft are saying is, is that your computer is not compatible with Windows 11 and therefore you will not be able to officially upgrade to Windows 11 on your current computer. You're, you will have to go out and buy a new computer with Windows 11 already pre-installed on it or a newer computer that you can load Windows 11 onto it. Now you might be thinking, well, that's a long way off. So why are they talking about this now? Well, it is because in most cases, you will need to buy a new computer to be fully compliant with the Windows 11 when Windows 10 ends support. And this is giving you enough time to perhaps budget for the prospect of having to buy a new computer. But what can you do if you can't afford a new computer? Well, first of all, you could just double check and make sure that your computer is not upgradable to Windows 11. It might be something as simple as you don't have TPM 2.0 switched on in the BIOS. So have a look and find out from your computer or motherboard manufacturer to see if you've got TPM 2 available to you on your computer. It may well be that your CPU may not be compatible. There might be a possibility that you might be able to upgrade your CPU, although I think it's unlikely. But another thing you can do is you can go into the start menu on Windows 10, click on the start button and just type PC health. And as you type it, you should see a blue heart appear and you can go into PC Health Check by just by clicking on it. And then what you should see is this PC Health at a glance. And at the top of the screen there, you should see Introducing Windows 11. Let's check if this PC meets the system requirements. If it does, you can get the free upgrade when it's available. So if you click on the blue and white check now, and then it'll pop up with a box telling you that it will either meet requirements or it doesn't. And if it doesn't meet requirements, requirements, it will tell you exactly what you need to do. Now, in my case here, it says the PC must support secure boot, TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. And it gives you some ideas there on how if you click on more about enabling TPM 2, it gives you some ideas on how to do this and the same about secure boot up, boot up there. But if you're finding that your processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11, like mine isn't, then unfortunately you're probably out of luck because it will probably be too costly to replace the, uh, the CPU because then it will also mean replacing your motherboard too. But obviously, if you build systems or you have built a system, then yeah, you may well be able to upgrade the motherboard and CPU and make your system compliant. But 
the problem is there is you will probably find once you've replaced the motherboard and the CPU that your license for Windows 10 will probably then expire and you'll have to buy then buy a license for Windows 11. So please make sure you take that into consideration when you're costing up your system. So what else can you do? Well, if you really do want to upgrade to Windows 11 and your PC isn't compatible, then there are a few videos on my channel which show you how to do this. But unfortunately, there are no guarantees that this is going to work. There's no guarantees that in the future, Microsoft, there's no guarantees in the future that Windows 11 will continue to work on your system as the operating system evolves. So subscribe to my channel and have a look through and have a look at some of these videos on upgrading to Windows 11. Now, another option that you've got is Microsoft are going to charge for extended support for Windows 10 users. Now, at the moment, we don't know how much they're going to charge. So no details have been released on this, but it's likely that they will charge an annual fee for three years. And that fee is likely to increase year on year in an attempt to persuade you to stop using Windows 10 and use a newer system. The other option is to just carry on using Windows 10 without security support. Now, you might be thinking that, OK, this is very risky. And yes, it can be very risky, but you will probably find that your antivirus will probably still continue to support Windows 10 for many, many years to come unless it's Windows Defender in which case it may well stop around October. So you may have to look for another antivirus program, something like AVG, Avast, Norton, McAfee, something like that. They will usually end up supporting systems and try to keep them as secure as they can for many, many years after Microsoft drops support. That's certainly been the case in systems such as Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Also, also the same seems to apply to browsers as well. Chrome supported Windows 7 for at least three years after Microsoft dropped support. Firefox supported for a lot, lot longer. I think that was about four, maybe five years. I think four years. And there's a new kid on the block, Super Meum, which uh, is basically a version of Chrome that works even today on Windows XP, like the latest version of Chrome. So you've got a few options there to carry on using Windows 10, but you should always bear in mind that if somebody come along and wrote a, a virus or malware or found a way into Windows 10, then there's no guarantees that your antivirus or anti-malware provider can block access to your PC from an unauthorized source. So please do bear that in mind. If you've received this message on your screen, then please let us know in the comments down below. Please let us know if you're running Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Professional. Also, let us know whereabouts you are in the world. And what do you think of Microsoft ending support for Windows 10? Do you think it's fair? Do you think that they should have carried on with Windows 10 as they said they were going to initially when Windows 10 was launched? They basically said it was going to be the last ever version of Windows. They weren't going to launch a Windows 11. They weren't going to launch a Windows 12. I know that's angered a lot of people. So let us know your feelings in the comments down below. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look through my Amazon shop or looking for a VPN, Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, then have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through my videos, you see something that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at CWTEK 
And if you want to have a look at my website, I'm at cwtek.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and see you again soon.